So because of my previous budget-oriented case fan videos, I read a couple of comments that I should take a look at Arctic's P12 lineup. So I reached out to them and here we have them. So let's see what it's all about. Okay, so Arctic is a German company that is mainly selling CPU coolers, case fans, thermal paste and mass for some reason. Why not? And I'm pretty sure that you've heard about them. If not because of their Freezer 34 eSports, then certainly because of the Freezer Extreme. Many years ago, that was a dream for me. Anyway, they also make case fans. And by request, we will have a look at one of them today. But before, we will quickly go over their complete lineup. They basically have two sets of fans, the F series and the P series. And then for 120 fans, we have the F12 and the P12, where P is standing for pressure optimized, so more RPM with more air pressure, and F is for airflow optimized, so less RPM, but almost the same amount of air with less pressure. Okay, now each of these have many different subversions. We have the P12 F12, the standard with a 3-pin connection. Then we have the Silent, which is slower but quieter. Then we have the TC, which has a 40 cm temperature probe attached that just keeps the fan at 3500 RPM until the wire gets hotter than 38 degrees. Then we have PVM, which is PVM instead of the 3-pin. Then we have PVMCO, so a PVM which is built for constant operation. Then we have PVMPST, which is PVM with daisy chaining with their power sharing technology. And then we have PVMPSTCO, so PVM with daisy chaining and for constant operations. And then each of them have four different colors. We have white with white wings, white with white see-through wings, black with black wings, and black with black see-through wings. That's a lot of fans. So the fan that I've got here is the P12 PVM PST. So a PVM fan that is daisy chainable. And at this point already a very big thank you to Arctic for providing us with these. So the reason why I'm supposed to have a look at them is because of price to performance. These are going for around 8 to 11 euros, depending on the exact model. And they are supposed to perform extremely well. But we'll get to that later. For the packaging, it's pretty standard, small, good quality, nothing negative here. Inside, you will find very few things. You will find the fan, four little silver screws, and a QR code with the manual in the shape of a smartphone. But one thing that I noticed immediately is the lack of any anti-vibration parts. Now at first I thought this may be the way how they save some money, but Arctic claims that their newly developed Arctic motor only transmits 5% of the vibrations to the surrounding parts, making pads obsolete. By sinus magnetizing the motor, whatever that means. To jump a bit ahead, we did cut some of these rubber pieces from our Noxuas into shape and we tried the p wells with and without these. And to be honest, I cannot hear any difference, so that seems to be alright. Okay, now let's finally get to the fan. With a fluid dynamic bearing and up to 1800 RPM with 56.3 CFM and 35.8 dBA, it does not sound bad at all. If we take a look at it, we can see that the wings are bent severely, making them extremely long, and if we take a Noxua NF F12, we can see that even the motor section in the way is way smaller. So from the looks, they should be able to push a ton of air and that bend in the wings should be able to create a really high pressure. Now on the design side, they are aimed for pure performance market. And let's be honest, not your fans are also very far from looking good. So I completely ignore the no-name look and we will just keep an eye on the performance. Now in order to test that performance, I had to make a lot of testing. And I mean a lot. From now on, we will benchmark all of our fans inside of the Aza Hive case, because the airflow is not bad. And we will perform the exact same test. A 3600X locked at 3.26 GHz with a 1.1 volt on the V-Core and a BeQuay Pure Rock Slim on top. But in order to exaggerate the benefits of case fans, we just remove the CPU fan. Then for each of the fans, we place two in the front as intake and one in the back as exhaust, except for 140s where we had to 
put one on the top. And then we run everything at 100, 50 and 20% PVM while cooking the CPU. And to have everything normalized, I had to do this with each and every fan that we own. Okay, so at 100% PVM, all of this brought us these results. And to my very surprise, the 10 Eero P12 managed to beat the crap out of every fan that we had. With 62 degrees C on the CPU, the P12 managed to outperform the much more expensive Noctua LFF12. Now the same cannot really be told when it comes to noise. Let's hear all of them. So at a 100% PVM, they are still not annoyingly loud, in fact they are still less loud than the Noctuas, but you can definitely hear that they push some air. But keep in mind that these are pushing at 300 RPM faster than any other fan that we have. Now with 50% PVM, everything changed a bit. The RSO6 and Silent Wings had to give up because they hit thermal throttle and all of the other fans were in somewhat the same position with the P12s managing to keep the CPU at 83 degrees C. And here the respective noise. So performance wise, oh man, the P12s and the NFF12s are performing almost the same, but the P12s are half the price. So price to performance is really really good here. And noise is also not bad. We kept every fan at 20% RPM and they were barely hearable. So performance overall for a case fan that was 10 bucks, damn, not bad. Now on the could have been better side, there is one small little detail. The PST adapter here is extremely short. I like the idea, but it's not always usable. If I connect the first fan to a mainboard header, which is just in the middle section, I would like to connect every other fan behind the mainboard. But with a wire that short, I would still have to route each and every fan to the front of the case. And it would have been much easier if this little wire was just a bit longer. Not a lot, just like a bit. Okay, so to sum this up, the P12 performs exceptionally well. Of course, the design is pretty old and they do not have any RGB or any other remarkable features. But damn, a, a 10 Euro fan that it outperforms a Noctua. So for people that are going for only performance, sure, really, really great fan. Okay, so this should be it for the P12. I hope you've enjoyed the video, but you can always leave your opinion with a thumb up, thumb down or the comment section below. And make sure to be subscribed because Arctic was kind enough to not only send us the P12 fans, but also the P14s. So that video is coming. But until then, have a look at one of these totally random videos.